Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Noe here, Noe Lawn Care. Hope that you're doing okay this holiday season. We just got done with Christmas just before New Year's, and I figured let's get some cleaning out done. We, uh, we got a big old mess up under this old carport here. So let's see what we can do with it. And I figured I'd drag you guys along with me. At the end, we'll kind of do a little inventory check on the Noe Lawn Care uh, equipment. See what we got, see what we need, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, let's go ahead and start this off. Let's see how this goes. say we got this side cleaned up uh, I don't know just trying to spread some things out make it more accessible I'm gonna throw all my tools right here get them organized from everywhere that they are and then we'll throw them in the toolbox make them all pretty but yeah number one is done top middle and bottom let's go on to number two put things up <coughs> mm, excuse me we'll pull them out and show you what it is this is our dirty yet still reliable MS 180 in fact I have a chain right here to replace it with uh, we don't really do a lot of tree work few little small limbs and stuff like that anything that's already fallen we'll take care of it but uh, yeah I mean just something small something real easy for us to use and it does the trick thank goodness but yeah we'll go ahead and stick her up there Next is Mallory's PB770, a uh, great little blower. I use it during the season. Uh, Mallory will use it all, all year long, but during the regular mowing season, when the 9010 is a little bit too big, this guy is perfect. Um, like I say, it's just a, it's just a great all-around blower. They have a new one 
that's coming out uh, next spring, spring of 2024. That is the 7910. Uh, I may be wrong on that, but I think it's the 7910. And I'm curious, curious to see how that guy is. I, I feel like we will end up buying it and using it. But uh, yeah, 770. I like it. She's she's been a great one for us. Next is my big girl, the 9010. Of course, like I say, big girl, can't even put it up here. Uh, we bought this a uh, couple years back. We've used it for two fall seasons now. It's a hoss. Best blower I've ever used. I mean, you can, you can dial it down, you can go easy with it, or you can squeeze that trigger and go go crazy uh i mean it's, it's technically between this one and the shindala version it's the world's strongest backpack blower so i mean that that explains itself we also have our pb2620 you might have seen this on a previous video we have the gutter cleaning attachment for it this one is is stout uh, I, I've always this is actually this is actually the first piece of commercial equipment that Noe Lawn Care purchased and we still have it it's just a great great blower keep your maintenance up on it do what you got to do it'll last you a lifetime well what seems like a lifetime at least And of course, going with the same fashion, we have the Echo PAS system, uh, 2620 head. And of course, we've got everything known to man. We've got the string trimmer. We've got the tiller. This guy is separate. But we have the bed edging, or the redefiner, excuse me, bed redefiner, brush cutter, another... Um, another straight edge two three different kinds of bush trimmers we have the extension um, this this is a great little unit for us let me put this thing down I'll show you that later but the 2620 like I said the detachable unit you can you can do everything with this guy the only I bet I bet the only thing we don't have is the flap wheel or the brush wheel something like that um, but we've got everything else. I mean, I, I'm a huge fan of this guy. The head trimmer you just saw, HC2020. This has been a great one too. Um, when you don't need to get up, you know, high with the extensions or with the PAS system, this one's great. Um, Still kind of a little too heavy when you're playing with a lot of bushes or, or whatever the case may be. You can feel the fatigue whenever you start to mess with it, but uh, I don't know. We might play with something electric next year as far as hedge trimming. Uh, that's that's about as far as I want to go with electric, but we might, we might play with something next year. This one, which I have covered up by the almighty dry wraps. I've always liked these things. We've had these uh, since we first started too. I mean, a few little holes, but I can't say that that's not uh, user user error there. But this is Ma, uh, Mallory's Mama's uh, 2320 Echo. Uh, great little bitty unit. I mean, I, I'll use this if she's not with me because the PAS system is a little stout. It's got a lot more power, but it is a little heavier. So you get onto these big properties and you grab the 2320 and you can just zoom right on by. Plenty of power, the same speed feed head. We got the tap caps on the end of them. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description below. 
great little product, great company. Uh, guy that we talk to is, is very awesome. So give them a shout. They're not too expensive. It's fairly easy to put on. And in fact, double back on our Instagram and you'll see a, a little video, a little reel on how to do these. Last but not least, on the stick side, again, protected by the dry wraps. Oh, it's a little, it's a little cockeyed there. I'm gonna tighten it back up a little bit. There we go. But yeah, uh, 2620 straight edge trimmer. This is a straight shaft as well. Um, it's an awesome little unit. I've got the curved shaft for the PAS system, but I don't know. Something about the straight shaft, you can just, I mean, I don't know how you guys edge, but depending on how bad it is, I'll just rest this on my shoulder. I got my headphones in, so I don't really hear it too bad, but then just go. And, and it's it's, um, it's a hell of a unit. Like I say, I, I like it very well. The, the 2620 uh, head, the power unit, has always, always been my favorite. I, I just like the, the output of that. All right, that concludes the stick section and the handheld section. Let's uh, let's check out these mowers. Why not? This one here is our awesome little John Deere L110, excuse me, L120, uh, hydrostatic, uh, don't let me get you, 20 horsepower Briggs motor, 48 inch deck, uh, it's a nice one, uh, I, don't, I don't mind it, we, well, before we bought it, the whole front end was replaced, the suspension the steering and all that kind of stuff we turned around of course did a did a full tune up to it normals we turned around and there is a video back in the channel double back on that rebuilt this whole deck well, not really great because obviously there's there's some paint chipping off and that kind of thing but put new bearings or put new pulleys on it put new spindles uh, new blades. We went through and we did it right. We did it right. I ended up getting that little bumper there for it. Um, it's just going to be a house unit. Just something that we use around the house if we have uh, busier days. Next year we plan on buying a bigger trailer so we'll be able to tow this guy along with us. But uh, yeah, John Deere L120. She's a nice one. The next beautiful piece of machinery for Noe Lawn Care, Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 46. 46 inch deck, uh, we got a 22 horsepower Kohler motor on there. 
we have the optional uh, mulch kit as well. We went ahead and did that. We stay with the mulch blades, the yellow, if you know Cub Cadet, the yellow style gator blades, I guess if, if you want to call them that. Um, we've always used that. That helps to chop up grass leaves real good and not have such, such a huge discharge. But throwing that blocker on there that helped us out tremendously through the leaf season and stuff like that um, two hundred thirty four hours on the cub and four hundred ninety one hours on the John Deere the last of the mowing game for Noe Lawn Care, Honda GCV 170. Um, great little mower, great little bagger. We use it for obviously smaller yards and, uh, you know, just anything we got to bag up. We got a small yard or, or, I don't know, I guess even a medium yard, we'll bag it up with that. Uh, it's just a great, a great little mower. It's got the dual blade system so it just chops everything up and throws it all in the bag for you uh, if you take the bag off and, and want to lay some lines you can do that as well this is a, a decent little mower uh, I, I don't mind it at all stepping into the steel pressure washer game we've had this for a couple years now this is the RB 400 uh, 2700 PSI runs off of a six and a half horse Kohler engine uh i like it I, I this is another one i have not had a problem with we've had we've had it for years uh actually i take that back we had, had we did have a problem with it but that was my fault i left it on the trailer i had it covered up but apparently some water still got on it when it rained and got into the air filter and blah 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 Took it up to our guys that we know. They cleaned everything out. Fires up like a champ. Runs like a champ. Um, it, it is a tattletale though. If if you do not have good water pressure at your property, this thing will not run good. So, um, and it's it's no fault of, of really anybody. It's just it it doesn't have enough water to push through. So you know, got to have good water pressure at your property. But at the same time that thing is a hoss i've cleaned everything mowers houses cars decks gutters anything you can think of driveways sidewalks all the above great unit great unit this is our beautiful curry trailer let's see what year 2020 right in the middle of rona uh five by eight curry trailer with the gate on the back we've uh we've had a little bit of you know a little gate issues here and there but it's been doing great so far we've got our equipment defender racks the three tier string trimmer rack the blower rack the gas can rack the hand tool rack what else the i don't think this came from equipment defender but we have the string trimmer or well the string holder and then our cooler there um yeah i mean like i say it's it's five by eight so it's not it's not huge but it's uh it got it got us around for this past season we will be looking for a little bit bigger one maybe something uh 14 foot long uh seven foot wide maybe i don't know we're just trying to look for something where we can put a couple more mowers on it and be able to do some do some decent work next year but like i say great trailer if you ever have curry around you or uh or you got a chance it's it's one of the lower brands but it's still a still a decent trailer and last but not least, the heart of the business, 98 Dodge Ram 1500. It's got the big boy V8. It's got the four wheel drive. Uh, I bought this from a great friend of ours and it had been put through the ringer even before he got it. 
and you can tell it had some kind of bed cover on here i did that with the pressure washing hose reel trying to get that working but that kind of fell on us it has the holes for a fifth wheel so you know it was hooked up and and pulled real hard back in its early days but what do we got almost uh i think we're sitting right at 290,000 miles um just had the transmission replaced had a couple little issues going on with it it still leaks from time to time but it's not slipping anymore so that's a decent thing I just put brand new tires on the back right before christmas got to do some in the front we'll uh hold off until we get a little bit more money but yeah another uh another vital piece for for our business here this thing this thing has helped us out a lot and it's still got a lot of life left into it too like i say take care of your stuff it'll take care of you well that pretty much concludes this video for the cleanup and the organization of our lawn care equipment pretty much ends the the year for us as well uh, a couple more days and we'll be in the brand new year but yeah as always we greatly appreciate you guys watching like i said throughout this whole year it, it wouldn't we we wouldn't be where you are if it wasn't for you guys we've crossed over a thousand subscribers we've uh, gotten more and more knowledge throughout the year and it's 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 awesome it's helped us out tremendously we got some chickens back there yelling if you can hear that but that's all we got for you we appreciate you watching make sure to like subscribe and comment and we'll catch you in the next one as soon as i get done cleaning up all this junk